What's going on, everybody? My name is Calvin Chambers, and I am the host of the Icarus Podcast. So, without further ado, we have the infamous AJ Wallace. AJ, can you tell us about yourself? What's going on? What's going on? My name is AJ Wallace. Um, I'm for real movies, you know, movies, anime, and TV uh, shows on the regular. Um, and, you know, I, if I was to describe myself as like far as like what I'm trying to do is just basically be like your, your, your most trusted source for movies and, and reviews. It's like, if you, if you want to go to the movies and you're not sure, like, dang, do I, should I go to the movies to see this movie? You know, at least like, I don't say something about it. You know what I'm saying? So I want to be one of those trusted voices out there. Basically like <laughs> to put it real simple, the Keith Lee of movies type beat. Like that's, <laughs> that's the okay, kind of vibe okay, I'm going okay. for. Um, like, 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 what did, like what did AJ say about this movie? You know, should, should I go yeah. see it? Should I go see it? You know? Exactly. Exactly. I just want to be at like, not necessarily the top of mine, but I want to be like up there with, with everybody else. Cause my whole thing, with like movies and 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 just entertainment in general it's just like i like hearing multiple perspectives on things like regardless if i see something or somebody else sees something they'll be able to pull something different than i will and i'm just curious to like you know knowing what that is and i like sharing my thoughts on things so that's basically that's basically it for sure okay 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 so you're gonna be going on tiktok and being like just watch Madam Web, and here's my review. You know, no. <laughs> see, no, I, I, I got, I got a little bit more sauce on it than that. But I know I, I loved, I loved the Keith. Lee. I just was like, when you think about food reviews, the first person mm-hmm. you think about now is Keith Lee, and yeah. I just kind of want to be on top of mine in that sense. You know, so like, like you were saying, like if I, if there's something I was interested in, I can go on. You know instagram tiktok youtube or go on my uh website janatoreviews.com and it's gonna be something about the thing i want to see you know and uh yeah i don't really get i try not to get too heavy into spoilers but it's like you got to say something to have a conversation because that's kind of what i want to do is like have discourse more so than just like was it good or was it bad type thing you know so have you gotten like how long have you been doing this for one and uh have you gotten to a point where you've been invited out to like different showings premieres and stuff um uh, i've been doing it for like probably like a year now like seriously as far as like this is the thing i want to do um but like i've been on youtube just like just doing things for a minute you know mm-hmm. um probably since like probably since like my last year high school type beat but because i know i know um we met at dreamcon in 2022 so you know you say a year i'm like you know i you've been telling me you've been doing this about two years now you know what i mean well it was more so like uh when i say a year i mean like when i went to dreamcon last time not last year but the the year when we met at dreamcon yeah Oh, yeah. that was two years ago. Dang, time flying. Two years ago. Yeah, okay, yeah. so yeah, so it's been two years since then. So that's like when I went to DreamCon, that's when I like really decided um like this is the thing I'm about to do. You know? Uh but time be flying, so I don't even think but it's like I, I just I when I think about like that moment, I was like, Yeah. That was like a year ago. That's how I kind of kind of felt in my mind, but I've been doing YouTube and stuff for a long time. Like Mm -hmm. I started out with just um, doing, you know, fitness videos. Like when I was just trying to, trying to be Ronnie Coleman. Like (laughs) Um, I was uh, from there. Like when, when I got to school, things like I still wanted to do YouTube, but it was more so like I'm in school. So like it, it wasn't really conducive necessarily to like, the videos that I was trying to make, you know, cause I always had a vision of like what I wanted it to look like. Mm-hmm. And then it kind of just changed over time. So like, I, I feel like I've touched like a whole lot of different things in like the YouTube entertainment space, but 
this is the first thing that like really makes sense as far as like what comes more natural to me, I guess. What did you study? Uh, I went to I went to Hampton uh, University for architecture. So something like mm. completely different than what I'm doing now. But it was more so because it was something I knew I could do. You know, like I went to a um, I went to like one of those schools that's like you can learn a trade type thing in high school. And um, I went for drafting because I always said like, you know, when I whenever I did the little quiz or whatever um, in middle school, it was like, yeah, like you could be like a naval architect or something like that. And I was like, all right, I guess like, you know, when you look at the surface of it and I kind of just stuck with me throughout school and so like I knew that this is something I could do so I went and did it not necessarily because I wanted to do that but it was just kind of the path that I went on it was more so like when I got to college it was just like I'm here so I gotta finish you know it's like I'm not finna start over you know because like YouTube was always like the thing I want to do and I was like I don't need to leave school to do that I can do both type thing yeah I mean, so. it's, it's always like, like I say, you know, it's always um, it's always good to have a backup. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, although it is what you want to do for, you know, your life. You know, you don't you don't mm-hmm. go to school for no reason. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you go to school because that's something you're interested in, something that you want to make your 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 main source of income. But you also have creative passions. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Um, I was watching this TikTok uh this morning actually where this guy was saying how he was just like you know people aren't fulfilled these days people are making money like they want to it's rough out here it just like you know this one guy was saying how you need to have two jobs you know mm-hmm. ultimately one job that you know or multiple jobs that supply your financial obligations and needs mm-hmm. and one that fulfills your creative side and if you get paid for the one on the creative side that's amazing you know but if you don't get paid i mean look you're doing it because you love it you're not doing it because of the money Mm -hmm. you know the money might come if you're successful you know yeah like i mean there's there's plenty of food reviewers in the world Mm -hmm. right yeah not all of them are getting paid Mm -hmm. right there's plenty of youtubers in the world not all of them are getting paid you know what i mean you know the thing with youtube too it's um you know, it's very intricate. You know, I love YouTube. I love the the opportunity of the platform. Mm-hmm. But I'll tell you one thing, man. I wish I did it back. Uh, I wish I started young, man. Yeah. I wish I started young so people could see the evolution, the growth and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, because as you get older, and, and this has nothing to do with like movie reviews, you know what I'm saying? Because I, you know, I'm a big movie head, right? Yeah. But it's nothing to do with movie reviews. But like, I feel like as you get older, there's a sense of humility that, Mm-hmm. you wouldn't do everything that's up here online because yeah. of your image. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, you can like, 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 for example, uh, I, I did a video when Morbius came out, right? Because mm-hmm. everybody kept talking, Morbius is horrible, horrible, horrible. Yeah. And I was just like, it was decent for what it was. You know what I mean? Sony. Like, if Morbius came out, <laughs> if Morbius came out 10 years ago, mm-hmm before you know black panther and you know captain america 3 and everything like that people have been like oh who's this guy this is nice this is interesting you know da, da, da. Mm-hmm. you know because it would have followed up with a sequel nowadays movies you know you get one movie and people don't like it because people are impatient mm. they don't get sequels as often you know like i feel like morbius could have been morbius one morbius two like like people don't have the patience for an MCU build up like they did back in the day. That's why all these movies are failing. That's why the DCEU failed. Mm. People just don't have patience. So it's just like, either way, either way. I'm, I'm, <laughs> that's another hot take. But, but I, I, I can respond to that. I, I can respond to what you said. So I, okay. I'm in the camp that Morbius was bad, but I still okay. enjoy watching the movie. Like for me, yeah. it's just like, there's a, when it comes to like scores, my scoring is a little skewed. Like when I look at things, it's like, all right, did I enjoy watching it first? And then I'll get into the, okay, now I'm gonna look at the 
the plot line the storyline how the characters develop and things like that but first things first is like my my enjoyment so i would say more so that the, the problem with like things like uh movies not getting sequels and things like that it's just because the level of expectation that marvel and and the mcu itself has you know risen to so now yeah. that we've seen the infinity wars the end games like we can't just accept this like little thing if yeah. if, we, if you're gonna do it you gotta really do it you know that's, and it's a lot of it's a lot you know, of half measures it's not, when it's coming to these these uh it's, it's, smaller characters right it's now. a lot of expectations you know what i'm saying yeah. like more like like you can't expect a lot for a lot of name brand characters now i'm not gonna lie what i heard about this madam web isn't yeah. good at all i haven't heard good things i haven't heard good I things have not, <laughs> i have not heard good things i've not heard good things but what I, but what i was saying before was that back in the day I would have had no problem dressing up in a Morbius in a in a Dracula suit, mm -hmm. you know, in the darkness at night, hanging upside down from a tree, giving a review, you know, just doing something abstract. Yeah. Right now, I ain't hanging from no tree. You know what <laughs> I mean? I ain't, I ain't putting on no suit. Gonna be yeah. tight on me, what man? But mm -hmm. like you know, so so the game of YouTube has definitely changed over the years. Um, yeah, you know, you know. Um, and I bet you wish uh, you're doing stuff like that uh, while taking a break from the Bemis building. Man, but the thing was, is that I I was. Okay. I was. And like I was saying, you know, like, you know, you know, you I know just, we went to the same school, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, I okay, remember. Okay. I remember. You was, yeah. was an RA. You was or the, yeah. the, the, the GL RA. <laughs> and uh, and, uh, what's it called? Um, Holmes. And I was no, 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 it wasn't no, me. No, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Uh, you was something. You was all right for one of the, one of the, one of them dorms I was in. What dorms are you in? I stayed in. I stayed in uh, Harkness. I stayed in. I stayed in all them joints basically. Um, the joint right beside Harkness in the back, and I stayed in uh, Holmes, and I stayed in. What's the other one? A lot of these buildings i stayed in the apartments or whatever like the so nah, that was before, i, was, I don't know I, was, well, I, I, was, I seen you though i know i seen yeah, you yeah, while you we were there yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. so yeah, yeah if not he was just around the desk or something like yeah i, I was know. i was all i was all over the place man the calf yeah get some food you know chick-fil-a mm -hmm. line yeah you know what i'm saying chinese but, restaurant you know what i'm saying <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, but, the wing uh, zone, all that. I don't even yeah, know if yeah, all that's well, there still. Well, well here's, here's the thing. Here's the, I wasn't really a fan of the wing zone, but that oxtail place next to the oh, next okay, to the okay, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. I was, yeah, I was a frequent at that. You know what I'm saying? Give me some jerk chicken, some macaroni and cheese. Yeah, uh, but you know, but you know, I, I wish, I wish, for example, you know, I knew what type of creative endeavors I wanted to do back mm -hmm. then because I feel like I would have been a lot more focused. Um, so. You know, being this one-stop shop, you know, you want to be a subject matter expert on movies, reviews, and you want people to look at your opinion as, you know, okay, let me see what you say. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, like, what's your thought of this movie? Mm -hmm. um, can you tell me what your first couple of reviews were like and how you've grown since then so the first thing i started with was was game reviews okay then i realized i'm not good at the game i thought i was good but i wasn't really good at the game so like the things i was seeing like as far as like on youtube and what uh worked and what didn't I just try to just emulate that and then progressively I found my own style. So by the time um, I even thought about like doing like any type of review, it was more of like a conversation. It was like a podcast. It was like a recap type thing. So okay. like I started off with anime when Dragon Ball Super was coming out. And um, every week I would just kind of recap the episode 
And I was just like watching it back and I was hyped because it's like anytime you make something new, you just be geeked yeah, about yeah. it and want to show everybody, right? So once I like did it for a little while, I was just like, man, something ain't right. So then I realized I'm like, oh, when I'm doing this, I'm literally just t- saying what mm-hmm. happened. I'm not saying what really I thought about these things. I was just literally recapping the episode. So I was like, man, I don't, I don't really like that. So I stopped. I just stopped doing that. And then um, I just left the reviews alone for a, a cool minute. And it just was on my 2K grind. Like I was just literally making mixtapes every week because that's the thing that like with YouTube it's like when you get a response for something it's kind of like that just becomes your whole thing for a little while you know so like 2k was 2k was the the game that I was like um I was getting like um feedback from you know like I just find my favorite song at the time and then make a mixtape out of it using like an upcoming player or um somebody's favorite player if somebody did something crazy that week that's what I would do and so so when you mean make a mixtape are you making like an amv something like that of the player yeah so like remember like um hoop mixtape and ball is life videos like on youtube that's what i was doing but i was doing it through 2k so like i would either make a make a player or i would go into the like the little my league jump and create a player that looks like the a closest representation of what they look like in real life okay. download the art from the jerseys do a whole shebang and then play in the actual game then go anytime i make a cool play i would go into the instant replay then that's the thing i would record and i would get a whole bunch of clips like that and then put it all together chop it up put the music behind it edit it to where it goes with the song and then post it online and mm. like It was going crazy for a little bit, but then I saw the ceiling of like, oh, I'll never be able to really, like I can only go as far as this player or this artist, if they ever see it, can take me. It was never like something that I could um, like bank on myself because on top of that, YouTube was going to get all the ad revenue from it because I'm using a copyrighted song. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, I enjoy this thing, but I saw, I was like, uh, that's not really going to work like long-term wise, but I'm, I'm going to still keep doing cause I just like doing it. Right. And once I figured that out, that's when I dove into the game reviews and started playing games more. And I did that for like, I did that for like the COVID year. Like, while everybody was at home, I was playing through Ghost of Tsushima, trying to go crazy, you know? And I was trying to drop, like, a video because I was streaming it, and I would drop the video the same day type thing, but it would be just a VOD. And then I was like, then after that, once I beat the game, then I would review it, and I put it all together with that footage. So it was like, Slowly but surely, I was building upon what the reviews would end up being and developing like my editing style, developing like um, how my graphics and my templates were going to look like so that I could replicate it like as I was going on, not knowing that movies was going to be the thing still at that time. Still at that time, yeah. I didn't know movies was going to be the thing that I was going to be was going to be reviewing because at that time I was still just going to the movies every week just because I like going to the movies and stuff like that. And I don't know what it was that I was like, when I, I think it was just because I realized like, I'm not going to be skunk. Like I'm not, I'm, I don't like playing the game this long. I like playing the game, but not like that. You know? Not like that. Yeah. 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 I, I get what you mean. Because and it was, was like, point, right? yeah. No, I was saying like, there was a point where, I was trying to build my YouTube, like my personal YouTube, not Icarus, mm-hmm. but like me, right? Yeah. Um, build it to where my YouTube was reviews, reactions, mm-hmm. and reviews were from movies, TV shows, video games, and the reactions were for, oh, and for, or for my, manga. Mm-hmm. And um, the reactions were like movie trailers okay 
And um, it's it's so weird, man, because, you know, just like you, you know, I, I play video games. I enjoy playing video games. But if I get bored of a video game, yeah, I get bored. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, I, you know, all the reviews are going to be bad. You know what I mean? It might, <laughs> it might take a while for me. It might take a while for me to even play it, you know? Yeah. Um, because, you know, sometimes you sit around and you're just like, you know, I'm just playing this game, mm-hmm. you know, but I'm not even going to edit half this content. Yeah, you know? but I got to get through it. But I got to get through it, you yeah. know, and it, then at, at that time it becomes a chore. Mm-hmm. Movies and TV shows are a little different because you could just sit there and watch it and just record your reaction. Yeah. Right. But then it's a chore a little bit sometimes to edit that, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, and, and and the issue that I came across, that's why I kind of at that point stuck to manga, mm-hmm. right? Uh, you know, people are ragging on me though, but uh, because my my my, my opinions, but um, <laughs> YouTube kept hitting me with copyright okay. uh, infractions. Yeah, that was another you know, thing with, too. With, yeah, yeah. Know, they kept hitting me with copyright infractions for mm-hmm. like reviews. Mm-hmm. So I kind of was just like, you know what? I'm gonna take a break on that. Just kind of regroup. I'm not. I don't think that's gonna be the, the route I'm gonna take. You know? Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Because it's it's like with YouTube. YouTube is a whole beast because you have the algorithm, which is all anybody talks about nowadays. But before, the biggest thing was copyright. Because then you also had the apocalypse. You had. Um, just people losing their channels and and like MCMs and a whole bunch of different things. So YouTube has gone through so many phases. And um, like for me, I just continue to just do it. And it was just like, I will learn across the way. So like for a review, I was like, or yeah, for for a review, like from a trailer, I, I take the clips from the trailer and I would put it on my video. And like you were saying, I was I was getting dinged for it. And I was like, dang, like how do I how do, I see all these videos from these other people that are making the same type of content I want to make that are not getting copyrighted. And I know they're making bread off of it. So I'm like, yo, how are they doing that? You know? So then I would literally have to break their video down. I realized like, okay, either their the style of video that they review that they do is that they sit down and talk straight to a camera. And they already built that trust with their audience to where they're coming back every week, regardless of if like, you know, how much editing they put into their videos is because they have a relationship. They trust that person um, and they've been doing this forever. Or you take a look at somebody else that's doing something a little bit similar to what I'm doing, which is like adding the trailers and stuff into it. The trailers are like the clips for the movies and stuff is only like 15 seconds, if that if that mm-hmm. and then you won't get ding for it you know so i mean i mean you're still i mean it's just like you you learn you learn you know. things as you continue to do them mm-hmm. and it's just like it's just like anything else bro like um at, over time it's like kind of like just you learn through osmosis of just doing the thing that like you'll develop and even evolve in like just even your taste and like how you look at things. So like now, like, like the, the first thing that I ever noticed about like something that I got, I gained from, um, make doing re- movie reviews and I mean, uh, doing, uh, 2k mixtapes and stuff like that is that mm-hmm. in music videos and things like that, like literally the person is lip singing. I used to always think yeah. that it was like live, live, and it was just, uh, it was like <laughs> everything was just on at that point. I don't know how to, I don't know a better way to explain it, but like now that I know that every time that I watch a video, I can't unsee it, mm-hmm. you know? So like I'm seeing like their mouth move. But it's just like, oh, it's it's not the same anymore. Like the the mystery is gone behind it, you know. And I started just seeing more things like that, especially like getting deeper into YouTube and, and how, learning how people are doing these edits and stuff like that. I was just like, dang, like 
it didn't necessarily take the fun out of it, but it, it made me more interested in like, okay, how can I do these things? Like, but do it in my own way, you know? Yeah, there was a, there was a video I just saw recently talking about Mr. Beast, right? Mm-hmm. You know, one of the biggest YouTubers there are. Yeah. Um, and he has different channels for different regions of the world. Mm-hmm. Fire. And he gets a person to come in and he dubs it. Mm-hmm. And he does get a person to come in and do uh, voice acting for every single region. Yep. Got you Naruto know. voice. Yep. Nar- <laughs> yeah. Got Naruto voice. Yeah. Got uh, Mexican Spider Man voice. Mm-hmm. Everybody, you know. Um, yeah like there's yeah it's a youtube is a is a beast man um Mm -hmm. and there's a lot more people speaking up on to like how to actually create yeah now what people don't realize is yeah you can get the method to create Mm -hmm. (laughs) but that work ethic yeah it's different something else Mm -hmm. you know because it's almost like you got to work on something every single day am i right yeah i literally do this every day Literally yep. every day, except Sundays yep. most of the time. Sundays I take a break, yep. got to rest. <laughs> yep. But you know, like so. it's 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 a it's a level of, um, like you were saying, discipline, essentially, to want to learn those things. Because a lot of times it's like, a lot of times when you're trying to learn something, you're not asking the right questions, you know. Yeah. And once you learn to start figuring out like all right how do i figure out what the right question is then that takes you on a whole nother rabbit hole of of just learning because before i was just like okay literally type in my exact problem onto youtube and try to figure out how to do it so like i've gone through i started off on imovie then i went from imovie to like the next um thing which was uh like it had it had updates throughout the time when i was first started making videos but i went from imovie to final cut pro and once i got to final cut pro that's when i started asking the right questions because that's when i was like okay i'm not necessarily like jailbreaking things in the in the literal term but mm-hmm. like the things that people were buying templates and um design packs and things like that i was breaking the edits down and because of my knowledge of final cut pro i was able to do those similar things without having all of the big expensive edit packs i ain't had no money for it you know so i had to figure out how to do it um like from scratch essentially and even though it took a longer time i still figured out how to do and i just applied that to like everything that I do now to where it's like I can look at a video and I might not have the equipment. I might not have the the um, software or anything for it, but I can I have an understanding now of like, OK, how did they do this? You know, and that was just literally from years and years of researching and looking up videos and just paying attention and, and, and doing real homework on like how to just be better, you know? so question yeah if you were to create a starter pack list of five items that a new content creator should buy Mm -hmm. when starting out what would they be um it'd be a mic it would be like a really good mic because that's the if you don't sound good nobody's gonna watch your video um it would be a, a good mic uh a decent camera if you're going to do like videos like depending on what kind of videos you want to do because if you're like more of a vlog or um challenge or like anything outside you'll need a different camera for that like you're better off probably starting off with just your phone um but just like something that has a decent camera then uh three would just be start off with like just an idea bruh like an idea that you can iterate on like multiple 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 times because you got to figure out if you like even doing this you know so and then fourth uh 
I don't know if like any physical thing, other physical things that you could really need, because it really depends on what you're trying to make. So like okay. if it wasn't a physical thing, I would just say like just be curious and um like really try to do as much content as you as you can if like every idea that you have write it down and just try it because you don't know exactly like a lot of times you don't know exactly what you want to do until you start and then you'll start figuring it out but outside of that like just a computer to upload maybe and that could be the start because some people like nowadays you could literally just make it off your phone like yeah, that's right. Like, if you're not trying to do like necessarily YouTube and just start on like a social platform, like that's you don't need nothing for that. You just need your phone, iPhone. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like so TikTok or something. The barrier of like, entry is like yeah, like the barrier of entry is like almost nothing now. You know, like depending on like where you at type B. Because when I think about like when I first got interested in content was like the call of duty days uh, like call of duty sniping and m montages and things like that were like optic and phase and when i was watching that i was like dang like i want i'm not i'm not that good at the game but i would like want to do that and yeah. my brain at that time could not even fathom the things that they were using to make those videos and upload and and do all those things i just was like no nah, this is cool and one day i'm gonna figure out how to do it you know and it was just like because if like you don't know what you don't know and if you don't know anybody yep. that is like into that thing alongside you that like might be older or anything like you just gotta wait so, until so you I'm figure out discovery yeah it's yeah, so all gonna be discovery yeah yeah yep so okay okay just do it that's all right. Say, let's just start. Just do man. it. Just do start, it. right? Just do it. You know? you know. Um. All right. So we do this part of the podcast, right? It's called a Spitfire Round, right? All right. Um. Basically, I'm gonna ask you a list of questions. We're gonna judge you afterwards. You know, the audience is gonna judge you afterwards, and um, all you gotta do is just give an answer. All right. All right. Is it yes or no? Or just so, an answer. Just an answer. Okay. Bet. Boruto, Black Clover, or My Hero Academia? Do you say Boruto or Naruto? Boruto, Black Clover, or My Hero? Uh, I'm gonna go Black Clover. A fairy Tale, Eden Zero, or Rave Master? I only seen Fairy Tale, so I'm gonna go favorite fairy, fairy Tale. <laughs> okay, okay, they're all about the same creative. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Pokemon or Digimon? Pokemon. Come on, bro. Fa favorite the swamp hurt right there. I got the swamp hurt right there. Stop playing with me. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even <laughs> see that, man. Yeah. Oh uh, man. Uh favorite comic book hero. Oh. Oh, uh, it's a it's a tie right now. It's a tie. So it's between Miles Morales and Daredevil. But for the, okay. for the sake for the sake of for the sake of conversation, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go Miles. I'm gonna go Miles. Okay, okay. It's crazy. I'm about to go to um Awesome Con and uh Charlie Cox is gonna be there. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's the real there, though. <laughs> yep. Uh, Static Shock or Black Lightning? Static. Funnel Cake, Fried Oreos, or Shaved Ice? Funnel Cake. Morning Person or Night Person? Night. Well, it gotta be night. Yeah. You know, you make content. You know, yeah. <laughs> Beamus. Uh, agree. Uh, Beamus changed me forever. Yeah, yeah, creators. We, we don't get no sleep. Uh, <laughs> Favorite video game of all time? Ooh. Uh, dang. I'm going to go. I'm going to go Sly Cooper. The second one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Used to play the demo all the time. Yeah. I guess these people could judge me because I never played the, the Sly Cooper game. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like, it's three really. It's Sly Cooper, Jack and Dexter. And, um, yeah, because when everybody was playing, when everybody was playing Sly, I was playing Jack and Dexter. Yeah, yeah. like but I was playing all yeah. three. Uh, so like uh, Jack and Dexter, Sly, and um, Jack. Wait, no, I said that. What is it's Sly Cooper, 
Um, you talking about? Um, I, I know you're talking about. You're uh, talking about uh, Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. is th- those are three. Those are three OGs. Yeah. So. Yeah, slide slide needs to come back because Ratchet, you know, they come out every what yeah. five years or something. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. No, it's just I, I feel like who who made Sly? Was it Naughty Dog it or Sucker something? Punch. I think it was Sucker Punch. Oh, well, where are they at? I, I think they're not a thing no more. Well, they just did. I think yeah. Ghost of Tsushima was their last game. I think. <sighs> Ghost of Tsushima was lit. <laughs> Could have saved them. Could have saved them, but. Yeah. We'll see. People still buying that game. Yeah. I'm about to buy it again. Cause I had the, I had the physical when I traded it in. Oh, for, uh, yeah. I traded it in for, for some game. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that, I played it. You know, I played it twice yeah, so i played really it on ps4 game. when it came out and then um i played it again was, on five but i started off just playing the the um online and i was like oh dlc came out bet and i ran it back again once the, once the dlc came out ran through played through again and then beat the dlc yeah that was um that was the first p5 game i played mm-hmm. that and miles morales yeah that game is good too that game is good too, yeah. but when sure, I think of like favorite games, I go back in time, cause like that was yeah. like pure enjoyment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was it's playing the joints like with no sim, with no memory card, like just seeing how far I could get, you know, cause that's all I could do. <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't do that for Ghost, right? There, there's some some of them uh, stragglers in the row would tear me up, man. Mm-hmm. I win every boss fight, you know, but them stragglers in the road catch you off guard, man. <laughs> Uh, you sneak up behind you, whack you, you know, right. like, uh, like come on, slice me. But um, but all right, man. Um, AJ, I appreciate you for being on the show. Thank you for being a guest. Thank you for giving us an insight onto content creating and your process and you as a whole. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, before we go, where can we find you and what's next? Yeah, so you can find me at uh, AJ Wallace Reviews on basically everything. Um. I got a podcast called The Wine Geek Show as well, where me and my homie uh, Chris, we de- basically debate on movies because we have differing opinions a lot of times. Um, but yeah, my goal right now this year is just to execute, bruh. Like, like to be one of those voices that I, I spoke of before, I got to drop. I got to drop as many reviews as I can. And that is my goal. I'm trying to drop like at least one a week. But on top of that, I'm dropping a whole bunch of content on socials, whether it's like um, literally a blog or Instagram reels, t- uh, TikTok, YouTube shorts, everything just to get my thoughts out there and connect with people. You know what I'm saying? And um, I appreciate you having me on. I had you, I had, uh, we did a, um, an interview with you on my channel like a, a little while ago. So if y'all haven't seen that by yeah. now, definitely go check that out um but yeah everything's just aj wallace reviews and it's it's crazy too because then i had a whole different name you know what i'm saying so it's yeah because because you know you saw me write it yeah right? yeah 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 because i was just like i said wait a minute i was like wait a minute aj wallace i saw i saw the ad mm-hmm. i was like oh Jonato reviews you know yeah <laughs> and I, I, that's the whole thing like this year is like i'm really taking ownership of like nah this is me you know, because I, I okay. came up in the whole gamer tag era where it was just like, yeah. if you put a gamer tag there, like, I mean, people will know it's you when they see you, but there's no pressure now like that, you know, yeah. you putting the, your gamer tag up there. So like, really, it really was when we when I uh, we when we did that interview with you um, where I was just like, hey. I got to start going by my own name, like, you know, like it's cool. See, but- see that's it. Yeah, but that that's interesting though because it's like it's it's all about the the it, there is such thing as power and brand identity, right? Mm-hmm. But it's also like an extra layer of like protection against you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like even if you use your game tag because um like People now know. People now can look you up. Mm-hmm. Find your address. Find your this. They know your full name. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. 
Now, of course, they could do that with anybody. I mean, people like Gordon Ramsay, people like, mm-hmm. uh, you know, people know their names and, and yeah. all these other celebrities' names through Wikipedia. You can always just look them up, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. But it's like using your gamer tag or like me, for example, I go on my streaming and stuff like that, Kunatics, right? Mm-hmm. And I could just go by Calvin. Yeah. I usually go by Calvin for my writing and for my films and right. for Icarus, my books and yada yada you mm-hmm. know i do that but like for my game man i go by chronotics but it's like you know it, it, it's almost like okay a, a job looks you up you're applying they type your name yeah. and they see all this content right you know I and mean? then right. it's like hmm, you know how you allocating your time yeah. are you gonna be focused on something else you know so it's like i look at it like that mm-hmm. for now yeah i just until I, I uh until i until i just you know just I'm comfortable, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I feel like I finally, like, once I found my thing in, in movies, like, I was just like, yeah, this is it. This is it. This is a, this is a thing I'm going to do. So I'm going I'm to I'm own it because um, once I started, like, writing down my thoughts, like you were saying before, like, that's when it became real to me. Because mm-hmm. I couldn't just put, like, yeah, I could put Janato Sensei, or I could put Janato Reviews, or or uh, or G, or whatever, but I was just like, all the other movie reviewers use their name for the most part. Like, even if they have a branded thing, they start off with, you know, AJ, or they start off with, you know, Mike, or whatever, from such and such, you know? And I was just like, I think it's time, bro. Because I've been doing this for a minute, and I just never really felt like, like while we were, even while we was in school, I was like, dang, I don't really want people to know here that I'm doing this, like while I'm doing, because then it's gonna be like, oh, you you wasn't writing that paper, all right, best. I I see why, and I just ain't want, I ain't want them on my head about that. So I just was yeah. doing that like that. So I don't know. I think it just comes with time, and whenever you're comfortable, you're comfortable, and that's just that's just where I'm at right now. That's true. So, yeah. That's true. Hmm. Something for me to think about, too. You know? mm-hmm. There's definitely something for me to think about. But, um, but AJ, appreciate you being on the podcast, man. Sure. And, um, you know, uh, everybody definitely stay tuned for more content from AJ Wallace Reviews. Um, you say you're going to do a countdown review of all the Planet of the Apes before the new season comes out? I did not say that. I'm going to watch the one, okay. the next one come out. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> the newest one. That's, the, that's what you'll see for me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, man. Oh, man. Um, but all right, everybody. You know, this has been another episode of the Icarus Podcast. Thank you all for tuning in, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace. <laughs>